Hi guys, good afternoon, good morning, and good evening. Greeting you according to your time zone whenever you decide to watch this video. How are you all doing? My name is Chris and I'm the owner of ANC Candles and I must add car air freshener. As some of you know, I used to make candles. Well, I still do. It's just that I don't make candles for commercial purposes for now. I don't make candles to sell for now. So I make candles just for my immediate enjoyment, you know, for my wife and my uh, friends sometimes, you know. So that's um, what I do. But um, I'm actively making car air fresheners and I've been doing that actively since... Um, November of last year and it's been really good for me it's not say I'm not saying it's really good because I want to sound that I'm doing well I'm actually doing good with this car air freshener and um, it actually inspired me to do more you know by um, creating more ideas and designing more um, unique um, car fresheners and stuff uh, some of you already know that I've created car air fresheners in the past something like this with the wood that I've created and I see that a lot of people are also doing the wood ones and which is great you know I've done this um, when I was in Buffalo and I've done something like this like, like I told you guys before and this is made out of ceramic this is my product this is my design this is something I came up with during my exam time when I was in school. So I came up with that and I designed it. Produced it, but it never launched, okay? I never launched it because of some issues that I that I found about it. So what I'm selling right now and what I'm actively doing is the car, um, the card stock I call it, or some of us will call it the felt. But actually my mine is not, um, Mine is not felt material, okay? Mine is not the polyester. I, I talked about the polyester ones before, and I talked about the um, the absorbent cotton. So I use cotton with an absorbent paper in it. So that absorb more uh, faster than the uh, polyester. Some polyester would take days to weeks to absorb, and I've showed you guys that before. And I also, to put to uh, make that point clearer, I still have this and it's still wet. Okay, I put it in today again, so it's been outside of this bag. <laughs> you know, it's been outside of this bag, so I put it in today. It's still soaked, so that's the one of the absorbent paper. And I'm saying absorbent because um, I'm, I'm not absorbent. Sorry, that's one of the polyester. I mean to say that's one of the polyester ones. And I'm saying polyester again because some polyesters, I don't know if they have two different types or more than two different types of polyesters because um, I was speaking to a manufacturer, a supplier, I should say, on Alibaba, and he was telling me, he was trying to convince me to buy his polyester, that it is strong, that it is sturdy that it can absorb um, fragrance oil. He even did like a test on the screen for me to see how it could absorb. And I said, I don't have a problem that it could absorb um, fragrance. My issue is that how long will it take for it to fully absorb the fragrance? How long will it take for it to dry up, okay? Because if I had um, a sale, and I need to sell the, the car freshener. I need to package it and, and ship it out. How long will it take for it to dry for me to be ready to ship to the, to the customers? So if it's going to take me three to, or let's say two to three weeks for it to be like fully absorb and, and, and dry up, then that's a problem. This, like I showed you guys, um, this has been going on for like almost, this week will be like four weeks, so a month, okay? And it's still wet, all right? It's still wet. So I believe there are probably types of polyesters and how well they can absorb fragrance oil. So that's why I go towards my card stock, my uh, cotton absorbent. That's why I go with this because in minutes they absorb. Right now as I'm talking to you, I just um, did about 10 of the mahogany teakwood. I just did 10 of that and they are right now drying up. 
I have to go back there and give them the second application so they can dry up and fully absorb what um, the uh, fully absorb the oil. So that's why I choose to go with um, a cardstock, the absorbent cardstock, instead of going with polyester. And there is nothing wrong with polyester. Like I said, there might be different type. There might be a type that will absorb faster and uh, can dry up faster. There could be one um, ones like that, but right now i haven't used any of that okay um so the, the manufacturer the supplier on alibaba this is a new supplier that i found um and he was trying to convince me that he that it's going to be okay that it's good but i told him that for me to be sure i would need to see i would need to see touch and test the polyester he was talking about and he said sure they can send one to me for free but i have to pay for the shipping and i said okay if you're gonna want me to use your car um car air freshener or your car stock for my car air freshener and you were trying to convince me that it's better that it's good you would need to pay for the shipping as well so you don't have to do it i don't have to use your um uh, product so it's fine and we can go on our merry ways and he was like okay um how about you pay half of it i'm like it's okay we don't need to do it he said he's trying to convince me that you know he theirs is better i said fine i believe yours is better but i cannot um say to people that yours is better without me saying it if you're telling me yours is better i'll take your word for that but i'm not going to buy it okay i need to see it i need to touch it okay i can't argue with you about your product all right to you it might be what you um okay if you're gonna get anything from alibaba if you're gonna get anything that you want to buy in bulk you should get a test you should get a sample okay you should so um after back and forth and i just showed that i wasn't really interested in in what he was trying to sell me he decided to um send it to me for free and pay the shipping all right, so it, it will be coming. He said it will take 15 days for it to come. So that means he, he wasn't sending it express. Usually when I order things from Alibaba, it takes five to seven days to get to my front door. Okay, so he's sending it as 15, uh, taking 15 days. That tells me he's not using express and I'm fine with it. It's just samples. And when the, when the sample comes, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to do a video to show you guys exactly how it looks like and exactly how it feels. And if it's flexible or flimsy, if it's um, sturdy, and if it can absorb fragrance oil um, and dry up immediately, not immediately, but at least um, 10 to 15 minutes if it can dry up, then I will give it a, a, a thumbs up and I, will, and I will probably order from them to, you know, do other projects with that. And also say, talking about that, some people have actually contacted me through emails and um, um, through the YouTube channel. So if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube ch um, channel, I should use this time to say, please go ahead and subscribe and help me grow this channel. And if you haven't joined the Facebook group, you can see the link in the description and you can request to join. And I'm pretty sure I'm quick in approving people. All right. So if you want to be part of the um, Car Freshener family, you can join that group. Okay. Uh, so talking about that, I've had emails from people and I've had personal messages from people asking me to show them where to get their card, card stock. That the ones they bought from um, Amazon or the one they got from Etsy wasn't what they were expecting and wasn't sturdy enough and it took them weeks, you know, to months for it to dry up or to, for it to absorb the fragrance oil. So I did my research and realized that, yes, some of the ones on face on um, Amazon, some of them were polyesters and some of them on, you on Etsy, they are polyesters. And if there is a way you can make it dry faster, go ahead and do it. But I like my um, car freshener, my car freshness to dry naturally. I, I want them to absorb naturally. So there is no um, man-made uh, way to make them go faster like what I mean is this when you're making candles you know like when I started making candles in 2008 I used to think you know throw it in the refrigerator so it can cool faster it can dry off faster and yes it would do it but then 
you're not allowing the chemistry um, of, of, of making candles, you know, you, you're not allowing them to, to do their molecular stuff, you know, to, to bond together and to naturally fuse into each other. You're not allowing that. So you're just using an artificial way to force them to do that. Uh, when you start burning the candles, you might have issues. You might have issues with sweating. You might have issues with, with other things going on with that. But that's the, so that's why I believe allowing your car, your car air fresheners to just naturally absorb and naturally, you know, fuse into your, your, your cardstock or your felt material. So if your polyester is not doing it faster and you put it in a refrigerator, you just you know doing a shortcut and like i always tell people shortcuts will cut you short so um i just like it done naturally so that's what i want to just say to you guys if you're going to choose a material and if, you, if you're going to go with the wood method you know go ahead with that there are tons of ways you can design um car fresh car, uh, car air freshener with wood you know i've seen so many different ways you can do it people are using um, laser cutters now and they are using that well um, people are using ceramics you know there, there's something I used to do when I started car air freshener to during my candle days I was doing scented stones and those are beautiful I used to have scented stones in my bathrooms and stuff you know I, I, I will make them out of um, um, cement and I just cut them into little cubes and soak them in fragrance oil and then when they're ready i just put them out in my in my um, bathrooms and stuff so they are beautiful so there are so many ways you can actually make uh, freshness whether in your house or in your cars for me right now i'm using this and i'm selling this a lot um i'm, I'm on my i'm selling on my website but i'm also selling on amazon handmade some of you who are not familiar with um, Amazon Handmade, I think you guys should check them out, you know, um, look into that and, you know, start applying for their um, homemade stuff. You know, you have to be able to prove that you're making this homemade. At least 70% is you packing it or you making that. You know, if it's just fully done and packed and processed outside, you know, they will not accept that. But again, I don't know how they will know that. But still, you want to be honest to yourself and honest to them that you are actually making the bulk of it. Like uh, for me, I'm making about 90% of this at home. So this is just fully, excuse me, this is just done fully outside, outsourced. But the fragrance, the packaging, the labeling, I do myself. It's like you buying jars outside, um, at maybe Candle Science or other places and you you make your candles okay you are not manufacturing the the jars you're not manufacturing the fragrance oil you're not manufacturing the wax all these are raw materials that you buy okay and then you make them into a product so that's what it is so when you have something like that you can actually apply for amazon handmade and you'll be able to you know sell on their platform and right now i'm doing fbm i'm not doing fba if you do fba that means you're going to take it's fulfilled by amazon you're going to take your products package it send it to amazon and warehouses and they're going to distribute it when you make a sale now amazon um fba helps you to you know they advertise for you you know they put they push your product for, um, up front uh more for people to see but if you're doing amazon fbm like uh, which is fulfilled by merchant which is like you're selling it from your home and you're shipping it out uh, out to your customers you know it's fine also it, it's good the only disadvantage is that people now like to see prime before they buy but again if you have a unique product if you have something that people haven't seen before if you have something that people their eyes um catch those things fast and they were like oh wow what's that i've not seen that before they will they will buy it no matter prime or no prime i'm selling a lot more than you know that i sell well that i used to sell with my other amazon non um, candle or non uh, car freshener products i used to sell on amazon um before you know fba before i started selling on um before i started doing candles and um, car freshener but what i'm trying to say is that your your product, if it's unique enough, people won't care if it's Prime or not. They will still buy it. But I, I think I'm going to jump into Prime 
into selling Amazon FBA if I have to go on vacation because I won't be at home. So I will just distribute it to their uh, warehouses. So when I get a sale, they will do all those work for me. But again, you have to pay more for that. All right. So I just wanted to throw out this video to show you guys, you know, what's going on. And when that sample comes, I'm going to do a video and I'm going to um, do a review of, of it and show you guys, you know, how it works. Plus, I, if, if it's good and if it's a good quality, um, I might start carrying that for people who are interested in buying. Um, the prices would be comfortable for everybody. I'll just say that. Um, but also, I'm talking to another manufacturer which actually sell this type of my card. Um, not the color, but just the, the um, absorbent um, cotton. They sell this um, and they have it in the thickness that I'm actually looking for. The thickness I'm going for, that's what they have. So I'm really excited about it. And my other manufacturer, excuse me guys, my manufacturer who is making my newer product, this is my newer product, Ridolens. Okay, this is my new car, Freshner. Okay, so they, the, the manufacturer who is making this, don't have this kind. All right, they don't have this kind of absorbent paper because they are not actually a, um, a car freshener company. They are a wood company. This company is a wood company. So they were able to make this for me, but they don't have, um, they, they don't have um, felt or cardstock. They don't have any of that. So instead they gave me, if I can open this. <laughs> so instead they gave me this, where is that? Okay, right here. So they were the one that gave me this, all right, as my insert because this opens up. This opens up, all right? And then I can put an insert in there, all right? This will also be an extension of the up fragrance. This as a unit will be fragrant. The entire block or uh, housing will be scented and when the scent is depleting then the customer can use this open the housing and insert this in there all right and it will continue with the fragrance but the issue is that they sent me this and this is super soaked over a month now so i told them i would need something like this you know and it will have it should be um 3 mm which is three millimeters thickness so you should have that because that's the space that is required so i have to i have to look for a manufacturer that can create that the manufacturer who made this they don't have the 3 mm this is what they have i think this is a 2 mm so I had to look for another one and the one I found, they carry 3mm as well. So that's why I'm excited about that. And I would also try to get their, um, their product, the cotton um, cardstock. I'll try to get their product and also sell those um, because it's just a better quality, guys. It's a better quality and it has a very strong absorbent power, like it can absorb a lot of fluid, um, um, fragrance oil. And when you put it in your car, it disperses it easily, like you just smell it. You, it, It's really good, it's really good. So that's why I really like it. And funny enough, I've had customers come back to buy this particular card stock because they just like it. All right, I don't want this video to be long. I just want to let you guys know what's going on. And for those of you who are just joining us into this group, I want to welcome you specially. Thank you for joining the group. I hope you will find value. You will find um, um, purpose in this group and you will find what you're looking for. And also the ones who have been here, 
I want to encourage you to keep going, not to give up, not to um, look down on yourself. You know, you can do it. I've seen some people making beautiful car fresheners already and they are doing well with that. So don't give up, you know, keep pushing. And don't forget to subscribe and share this, like it, hit the bell notification so you will be notified every time I put a new video up. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Chris. Thank you and God bless. Bye-bye.